afternoon, family and friends of All Saints Belito, both here in Belito and throughout the world. It is with great sadness that I announce to you, if you haven't already heard, that our Archbishop Abel Gabuza, the coadjutor, who was in waiting to be our Archbishop as from March, has passed away from the COVID virus. He was in ICU at the Hillcrest Hospital and his condition deteriorated over the last few days. Everything was done that could have been done, but sadly the Lord has called him into his kingdom. With great sadness because the Archbishop, the Cardinal, was going to be the administrator of Ishawi as from this month, and our Archbishop was going to take up more of the reins to relieve the Cardinal since he has retired. We have no idea how the Nuncio will um, handle the situation. Obviously, it's new for everyone, but we feel that it's important that you know the, the news and that we keep ourselves in prayer. So, Father David and I will lead you in the Office of the Dead. It will be a shortened version, and we will do it right now. So, please remember to pray for Archbishop Abel Gabuza. O oh God, come to my assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. We now have the hymn Amazing Grace, sung by Aretha. At the very threshold of death, rescue me, Lord. Once I said, in the noontide of my life I must depart 
to the gates of the netherworld, I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men and women among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the netherworld that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do these who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons and daughters, O oh God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. At the, At the very, very threshold, threshold of, of death, death rescue, rescue me, Lord. Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. If we believe that Jesus died and rose, God will bring forth with him from the dead those also who have fallen asleep, believing in him. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. You have turned my sorrow into joy, for you have rescued me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Let us pray to the all-powerful Father who raised Jesus from the dead and gives new life to our mortal bodies and say to him, Lord, give, give us, us new, new life, life in Christ. Christ. Father, through baptism, we have been buried with your Son and have risen with him in his resurrection. Grant that we may walk in newness of life so that when we die, we may live with Christ forever. Lord, Lord give, give us, us new, new life, life in Christ. Christ. Lord, you sent an angel to comfort your Son in his agony. Give us the hope of your consolation when death draws near. Lord, Lord give, give us new, new life in Christ. Provident Father, you have given us the living bread that has come down from heaven and which should always be eaten worthily. Grant that we may eat this bread worthily and be raised up to eternal life on the last day. Lord, Lord give, give us new, new life in Christ. Christ. You delivered the three youths from the fiery furnace. Free your faithful ones from the punishment they suffer for their sins. Lord, give us new life in Christ. God of the living and the dead, you raised Jesus from the dead. Raise up those who have died and grant that we may share eternal glory with them. Lord, give us new life in Christ. Heavenly Father, we lift up to you our dear Archbishop Abel Gabuza.
You have called him into your kingdom. We ask that you forgive all his faults and, and failings and welcome him into your kingdom, the kingdom that he knew and prayed for and longed for as we pray. Lord, Lord give, give us, us new, new life, life in Christ. Christ. Heavenly Father, we ask a blessing on Archbishop Abel's family and his friends, all those that knew him. We ask you, Lord, to console them in this time of mourning as we pray. Lord, Lord give, give us new life in Christ. Heavenly Father, we ask a blessing on our Cardinal, the Chancellor, all the priests, the deacons and the laity, and all those in the Archdiocese of Durban who were waiting in hope for our new Archbishop, a worthy, beautiful man, to lead us into the future. However, he has now led us into eternal life. We ask you, Lord, to bless us as we come to grips with what this means for us and how we as a church of the Archdiocese will grieve and mourn and grow as we pray. Lord, give us new life in Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for all people of this country and the world. Because as a leader of the church, it means that we as a church are suffering greatly at this moment. We pray, Lord, that the nuncio may find a worthy replacement for both our cardinal and our archbishop in the near future. We ask you, Lord, to bless all those that are in leadership now, that we will hold together with great peace and purpose as we pray. Lord, Lord give, give us, us new life in Christ. Let's now pray together in the words of our Lord Jesus. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the, name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, dear people of God. Please remember all of us, and especially Archbishop Abel Gabuza, in your praise. Bless you.